Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beer Review. So, uh, pick this up from new uh, Audi. I'm not sure how new or when it was released because it said new. I've not seen it before, so I assume it's relatively new. Um, the Hop Foundry. Hop Forward Beer, it says. Brewed in partnership with Freedom Brewery. do seem to be doing a lot of beers with Audi. Um, I hope that gets the quality up because the quality used to be a bit, uh, yeah. Uh, so craft beer, 3.4%. So, yeah, there's a lot of breweries bringing out these 3.4%ers these days. Crisp, refreshing, hop forward beer, balanced with bitter hops and a citrus aroma. And, uh, I mean, I'm not overly fond of 3.4% beers, but I understand whether it be duty or whatever. You know, there's a reason why they exist. Um, is what it is. I'm not overly bothered one way or the other. So, straw to gold pour in that bracket of pour uh, with a white head. There we go. Hop foundry. Not much of a nose on there, to be honest. There's a there's like a a, a hint of a log a malt nose on there. Yeah, it's very um, not more not much there. Let's put it that way. Um, let's go in. Gives me vibes of a uh, alcohol-free beer that that where they've tried a bit too much, and it like you know like a lot of these alcohol-free supposedly alcohol-free beers that are just full of malt and they just they don't taste great, and uh, you know the ones Doom Bar and Old Speckled Dead and all them just taste bloody rancid. Uh, well, I don't know if they still make them or not, but they're. Too Disgusting. Um, I'm going to let it go round. First impressions, I'm not keen. Um, but I, I want it to, you know, get into my system and let's, let's, you know, look for positives. Um, Although the, the, the minute, the only positive I can see is when the end of the can comes uh, and I'm going back up the ass. But, uh, yeah. And again, little to no nose on this. Mmm. There's a faint citrus thing going off. Uh, yeah. uh, mm, yeah, mm. I'm making a lot of noise. <laughs> so I'm trying to get the best out of it. And I'm being nice. I'm trying to be nice. There is flavour there, don't get me wrong. There is flavour there. Uh, you know, there's, there's a touch of hops and uh, crisp, refreshing, hop forward beer. Mm. Ooh. Uh, yeah, 3.4%. I've got to be honest, if every 3.4% beer was like this, then I just I just rather not bother, you know. Three point four percent is basically what you call a table beer, 
you know, you know basically a pissy week uh, version of something that's that needs to be four, fallen off just because they're trying to get below the government's stupid duty bollocks. Um, yeah. There's a hint of flavour there, and it, and, it, and it comes in, but it's in the background. It's right at the back of my throat, rather than at the, rather than at the front. If, if, if that sounds... Uh, reasonable in that respect. Um, oh. <sighs> um, I'll be absolutely honest, it's uh. There is flavour there, but it is bland, I find. Um, you can tell it's um, a cheap beer, you know. You can tell that... Uh, and I, I kind of feel sorry for any brewery that are contract brewing for supermarkets, you know. Um... A hop foundry has not had the best reputation over the years. There has been the odd perler, to be fair. There's been the odd good one, and then there's been, you know, several that are not so good. I mean, um, Yeah, it's, it's not one for me. Um, so as you can see, straw to gold pour. And this is the thing with these 3.4% beers. I just find that they are weak um, in aroma and taste using probably cheaper methods to get the ABV up, I presume anyway. I don't know. I don't know. Not my cup of tea anyway. Regardless of anything else I've said, um, I just didn't like it. Um, so, would I drink it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I had a five. And again, uh, I wasn't keen at all on this. Um, so for me, a three out of five. Cheers.